In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mix concrete. Now you can mix your concrete to create different types of strengths, depending on what it's used for. Sometimes you might need a thin solid slab like what we're doing here on our driveway, which has gotta be a lot stronger than a really huge deep foundation mix, which holds your house up. These are the materials we're gonna be mixing together and it's important to get the measurements right. This is why I use the same size buckets. Okay, so first off, this is aggregate. So as you can see, it's a very small stone. Sometimes it might be a gravel, six millimeters, 10 millimeters, or even 20 millimeters wide. And then you have a thing called sharp sand. So people think it's all sand the same. You might see a red building sand, what people build houses with. That's very smooth and it doesn't have little grit, gritty bits in it, just like this one. So this is a sharp or a coarse, sand they call it and then of course you have your cement now this bag is a 25 kilo sometimes they come in 20 kilos and what i would do is i would pour that into one of my buckets normally that will fill one of your buckets and then that gives you your kind of guidance on how many other buckets of aggregate and sand that you need to mix now the mix that i'm making today is for our driveway so it is going to be a very lean mix and what i want to do is measure out four of these gravels two of the sharp sand to just one cement so that's four two and one and of course you're adding water with that once that all mixes up that's going to give you a good strong lean concrete suitable for foundations to lay a brick wall on alternatively you can buy a thing called ballast which is what is in these three tubs here now this is both of them already mixed up when we look closely it's got large pebbles in there which is like a gravel some of them are 20 22 millimeters right the way down to six and 10 millimeter small ones and it's also got the sharp sand which is this aggregate sand already all mixed in there for you so this is called ballast now if you were doing a very large area and mixing it yourself and you're buying it in ton bags you're probably better off buying your ballast like this and then all you need to do then is do four of those to one cement, which will give you a really good, strong mix. However, if you're doing a foundation for a house and you're putting a lot more of it down, it's a lot wider and a lot deeper, it can be a little bit weaker. Therefore, you would have six tubs of ballast to one tub of cement. Now to mix it, you can do it by hand with a shovel, but of course it's going to take you a long time. It's so much easier using a concrete mixer like this. This is a plug-in one. You can buy these secondhand for a couple of hundred quid, or if you can just hire them for one day if you've got a lot of mixing to do. So I'm going to start by adding some water into the mixer. Now the quantities of water may differ depending on how sloppy you want your concrete. When you're putting it down on a slab like this, you want it quite wet so you can drag it around and spread it and then tamper it. However, if you're pouring it into a trench for a foundation, you might want it a little bit drier. So also to bear in mind as well, your ballast, your gravel and your sand might have been left outside for some time. Therefore, there could be a lot of rain in there, which is going to make your mix a lot wetter. So just start off with a small amount, two or three liters in there, and then start to add your materials. And don't forget your PPE, safety specs and a dust mask. After putting my water in, I put my three buckets of ballast, allow that to mix around and it becomes sloppy. Then I'd add just half a bucket of cement and allow this to mix in. It'll still be quite sloppy at this point. If not, you can always add a little bit more water. Let this mix around for a while and then I'm gonna add one more bucket of ballast and the other half of cement. Let this mix up. It's always wise to add antifreeze if your temperature is below six degrees outside. And this is giving me a really strong four to one mix. Four lots of ballast and one cement. To add that reinforcement, all you need to do is order some of these reinforced fibers. The tiny little small bits of fibers cut up, normally about 20 millimeters long. Just start to sprinkle this into your mix. One good handful is about 100 grams. This is normally perfect for a mix of this size. This will help the concrete bind together even more. OK, 
key. Now that is a really good, strong concrete mix. We've got four of the ballast in there and just one cement. So that'll give you a really, really strong, thin slab. However, if this was going to be the foundations of your house or the foundations of your garden wall, it can be a little bit weaker. And that's where the six to one ratio comes in. So we'd add two more buckets of ballast in with this mix, what we've got here. The other important thing to make a strong concrete is to get the air out of it. I use the edge of the shovel to spread it around. This helps me keep the thickness consistent throughout the area. And take your plank of wood, tamper it down both ways. The more you tamper this, the more air you're gonna draw out of your mix. It's gonna be more dense, thinner and stronger. I'm laying this down about 70 millimeters deep. This is only the base of my driveway. It is gonna be getting another concrete topping over the top of it of about 50 or 60 millimeters, giving me an overall depth of around 120 to 140 millimeters thick with reinforcement in it. I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my concrete, tipping the mix into the wheelbarrow, then spreading it into the area where it needs to be filled and giving it another tamper down to get it level and reduce the air bubbles. So that's the ratio you require for a lean mix of concrete. If you're looking for more how-to videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mr. and Mrs. DIY.